Alright guys, so I was handed this Nintendo Switch. No power charging port. My technician has already replaced the charging port. So still wasn't charging, he said. Port looks okay. Let's run through a few troubleshooting steps, see if we can figure out what's going on with this thing. First thing I like to do is go ahead and grab me a good battery. That's my good known working battery. Charged 100%, I know. Let's see if this thing even turns on. Nope. Okay, well that's, it's actually not a good sign at all. Usually if, uh, even if you have a bad charging chip or video chip. Oh, you could have a bad video chip, so you may not be seeing video. Well, let's run through a few troubleshooting steps, see what's going on. Um, the main charging chips on these bad boys are right jail. That would be the uh, M... Uh, what is it? M... M9... T36 M92 T36 main charging IC right there. Um, there's quite a few different little caps that are around that IC. Um, a lot of times they like to short out. If uh, this particular chip is bad, you'll get some of these caps up here that might be bad. Maybe uh, some of these caps might be bad. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can find any shorts around this chip to lead us to where we want to go. Grab my multimeter. And uh, let's check. I'm gonna start with the little cap to the left, lower left. The bottom is on ground. The top of the cap is also on ground, which it should not be. Both of those should not be, both sides of those should not be um, on ground. The top cap is okay. Caps on the top of the IC are also shorted out. So it looks like we do have quite a few shorts running around that IC. Now, one of the chips, one of the little caps that are blown actually indicates that normally the p13 usb would be short so this ic right here is shorted both sides are actually um on ground which they should not be now normally when that ic goes bad the chip on the back of this board right behind here um the p13 usb is usually bad when that chip is bad when that chip is shorted um this one is actually shorted and these are actually shorted right here, which kind of just leads me to believe this chip may be just the only culprit. But you may actually have this one shorted and the P13 USB on the opposite side. So let's go ahead and disassemble this board real quick. I'm going to pull this IC off real quick and we'll see what we can find out. So it is shorted out. Normally I would take my multimeter and just kind of see what voltages we're getting over here. But since it's shorted, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it apart and probably just pull the chip off since I do know something is bad. So we're not gonna get the correct voltage being coming from the, 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 the charger itself. Um, these switches take 15 volts, I believe, 15, yeah, 15. My multimeter usually gets like 14 some odd volts. Let's see what. Let's see what I get actually on here. So, let's plug it up. And 
I should get 14 volts or 14.7 on my meter. I'm getting five volts. Um, so basically what's going on here is something is not telling the charger to, hey, give me 15 volts. The charger is spitting out 15 volts um, or is capable of spitting out 15 volts. But something on here, namely this M MN9 chip, is probably not telling the charger to, hey, give me 15 volts because it's a smart charger. So we're not getting the voltage that we should for sure. Um, the charging port that he did seems to be okay because you are getting some volts. If you got a connection, you're going to get the correct 14 or 15 volts. He's getting 5 volts steady. So it, something is telling me that, yeah, something is definitely shorted there. Which, of course, we already know it is because we already checked it out. So. Yeah, it's not like it used to be back on the uh, micro USB. You got what? two grounds, a, a positive and negative, and these 24 pin smart chargers, or USB-C smart charger crap. To me, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. I'm not, I don't know how the damn USB-C port works exactly. 24 different pins. It's capable of being turned. <clears throat> Either way, all right. So there's that P13 USB I told you about. That P13 USB, and this cap right here is probably shorted out too. Um, normally, when normally when that little cap there is shorted then the big cap by the p13 is also shorted but i'm going to go ahead and remove this one first and hopefully it relieves all the shorts if not that p13 is also going to be shorted we'll get that replaced too well let's go ahead and just take it off the board See if any of our shorts are relieved. I have my uh, cheapo AO set at 366 Celsius. It'll work around 340-ish, but uh, I like heat. It makes it a little bit faster. Already remove that. Now let's check for if that ground is still shorted. Let's see. So this chip is still shorted. This uh, cap is still shorted. That's the one connected to the P13 on the other side, so that's probably bad also. That's maybe why we're not getting any video. Yeah, <clears throat> that 
the cap the shorts on these caps above the mn9 those have been relieved so more than likely we have both this mn9 and a bad usb-c usb p13 so let's turn that over go ahead and remove the p13 just swap it out real quick Get me a new P13. These come from Mauser. Yeah, Mauser has these. I'm just going to swap it out because I'm pretty sure it's shorted out. See, that big cap is still shorted too not supposed to be let's swap this out Sure you get the correct orientation. Swap that out real quick. Well, looks okay. <clears throat> See if that short is gone. Short is gone. Short is gone. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and replace the M in nine. Dot top left.
ship looks burnt. What the hell? Yeah, I think these all came from donor boards. Let's try it again. <clears throat> all righty looks okay got um kind of a two of the pins are touching no biggie let me run my solder iron down it real quick and we should be good hopefully Should be good. Just test it out and cooled it off a little bit. Make sure those shorts are gone. Shorts are gone. <clears throat> okay. Let's check the voltage. We should get fourteen point seven on mine. Oh, fifteen point two five. A little high. But I think that should be good. Four volts here. Four volts. Four volts. Hmm. Fifteen volts. Volts. Five nine four. Fifteen volts. Five volts. I think we should be good. Let's see.
that's all we need to turn it on. Let's test her out. Do fi or doofus? Well, do fi is the plural of doofus. So if you got like more than one doofus, you got four do fi. Make no damn sense, dude. You know, like. I don't know what you're saying, but it doesn't make no damn sense, man. What I mean by that is it just sounds dumb. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's not, it's not like you're saying it's a, a, a goofy.